Hello from Manila. We've literally just landed about 40 minutes ago. Let me give you a tour of our hotel. Where are we staying? New Coast Hotel, Manila. So we're on the ninth floor, which actually is quite low down for here. Oh, it's still so heavy. You walk straight in. It's a really big room, very dated decor, I would say, but it's got a lovely big bed. Bedside tables, there's a dressing table here. I missed that in our last hotel in El Nido. That's really nice. And it's a nice little seat here. I wonder what the view is actually, I haven't looked out here yet. Hold on. Ah, there's a pool. Guys, there's the pool over there. My happy place. Um, yeah, it's not the best view, but whatever. We're only here for two nights. And there's some like wooden thing here. There's a TV, a desk. Oh, there's a desk and a dressing table. That's cool. This is quite a cool piece of furniture. Is it like a bar? <laughs> oh, it's a mini fridge, bar. mini bar, yeah. Imagine, it was full, full, imagine if it was filled with alcohol. Is it empty? <laughs> yeah, it's empty. I love an empty fridge though, because then they can't say that you use stuff. Um, kettle, gigantic mirror that had a beetle you on it. You've finally got a dressing table from the public. I know I said that, so happy. And I think this is like a, maybe a thing to put your suitcase on. I don't know what's here. Are these all wardrobes? Oh, oh there's a safe. Slippers. You know I love a hotel with slippers. Robes. And then there's a gigantic bathroom. I'm loving the marble everywhere. Sorry, but like, what happened to this toilet? <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Wait, it's so low and it's so wide. Maybe it is. Very weird. I don't normally show like the toilet because you know, once you've seen one, you've seen them all, but. Oh my God, Jess, have you seen this? Hold on. What oh, in what the, the bejesus? It's like a big spa. What the hell is this? Maybe Oh, it might be a sauna, it's all, it's all like... No, this is... So what? This is a shower, right? And then this is like a single person bathtub? Oh. Oh. That's so cool! You could like sit on the steps and shower <laughs> if you wanted to. Lizzie, I don't get it. I've never seen anything no. like that before, that is so weird. Toothpaste, Colgate. Ah, Colgate. We might need that for our flight back actually, it's so long. Yeah, it Shaving kit, vanity kit, body lotion. I hope they've got shower gel somewhere. Uh, I can't see shower gel. Oh, bath soap. Anyway, we'll figure it out. Oh, it is so hot and humid in Manila. Very chaotic, very busy. Not my favorite place we've been to on this entire trip we are just literally relaxing here for a day and a half because it's just somewhere to fly home from really yeah we've got half a day today our flight from El Nido was so quick it was meant to be an hour and 20 minutes and we landed within 30 minutes like how <laughs> we flew from Air Swift from Leo Leo airport which was really close to our hotel coolest airport ever it was tiny and air swift is like the nicest airline i have ever flown with their domestic flights were just so pleasant like it was just so nice flying with them very spacious very roomy um it was great we don't really have any sort of concrete plans while we're in manila we're just going to be chilling so I'll show you the hotel because the lobby is very impressive. It smells so nice when you walk in and it's all Christmassy themed, which I may have said on a previous vlog, but it feels so weird to be somewhere that's so hot and humid and be surrounded by Christmas decorations. It's not making me feel any festive, but it's just so weird to be on the other side of the world and experience Christmas without wrapping up in like loads of layers. But yeah, um, so cool, very exciting to be here. We've come to a place called Robinson Mall and there's like an m and in here. Um, there's a TGI Fridays, there's a Denny's which I think is also pretty shitty in the US. 
um, and there's a Starbucks, there's loads of food options. We did try in our hotel, but she was like, we can do you a salad without the bacon for like 40 quid, and I was like, no thank you, but yeah. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of stressful, just 32 <laughs> days until Christmas. Are we prepared? No. Jas, are you feeling festive? No. <laughs> Me either. Hong Kong 14 years ago. We went to loads of different restaurants. They'll be like, yeah, this is a vegetarian dish, it's all vegetables, and then right at the end she'll be like, it's also got pork in it. And I'm like, no. <laughs> um, but we've got a couple of good options. There's an Italian, there's like a curry place that does like katsu curry and some other stuff. But yeah. Thank you. So, success, we found a Chinese restaurant called Classic Savory and they are going to make the Lohan Chai for me without uh, whatever it has in it and they'll make me the Four Seasons string beans without the pork and they'll make me a vegetable fried rice. But we're going to have oh, a few dishes, got, right? They've got ground pork in these little things. Yeah, everything has pork in it, that's a problem. Pork's a really big thing here actually. <gasps> oh, creamy mushroom fish fillet. Do you reckon that's actual fish with a mushroom sauce, or is it? Well, it will be. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna. No, it's not. They're gonna make a veggie vegan version. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> they seem to understand what vegetarian is here. Um, it's been a real struggle um, on the other islands that we've been to, but the guys seem to understand. So hopefully, our food is fine. Um, it seems promising, though. We've actually ordered a feast because we've finally found food that I can eat. I mean, the reason for there being such a lack of vegetarian food is for A, because they just eat a lot of pork and fish or seafood, but also because somebody told us that vegetables are way more expensive than meat and fish in the Philippines, and so most people just don't buy them or sell them or eat them, so that's probably why. Here's my... Uh, garlic and mushroom green beans minus the pork. What's this? Garlic spinach? I think so. Look at the size of these forks, Jazz. <laughs> and it's so funny, they give you like cutlery to use in boiling water, I think to show that it's like been sanitized or something. And it's also really weird just sitting outside a restaurant, like in the middle of a shopping center with everyone just staring at us. It's quite funny. Food smells so good. Do you know what it's just we ordered two, yeah. Two cups. Yeah, you can do. It's like some mixed vegetable, mushroom, tofu y thing. I don't know. It smells good, looks good. It's waiting for our rice now. Banana ketchup. There's a whole section dedicated to banana ketchup here. I love a foreign supermarket. Cream of mushroom soup, anyone? Ah, Noor. Good old Noor. These COVID essentials. Collagen powder. I'm pretty sure your skin doesn't need to be plumped to survive uh, COVID. Gummies. Vitamins. This is so funny. Tissues, hand sanitizer, isopropyl alcohol. Just in case you need to wash my makeup brushes while I'm here. I mean, rice is a big deal here, but these bags are gigantic. What are they? Like 20 kg bags of rice? 25 kg bags of rice, actually. Wow. Imagine you don't drive. How do you get these home? Pineapples are huge. Do you know what? I actually love that they've got like a little description. So, pineapple, good for hydration and complexion. And then they've got fruit and veg may reduce the risk of heart attacks and certain cancers. Papaya, good for digestion, although that's not papaya. Around the corner, maybe. Or oh, is this pomelo? Is it? Is it? <gasps> you can buy individual. Can we buy this pomelo? I love pomelo so much. It's one of my favourite fruits. So what a nanita pomelo is. We're going to get this, yeah? There's another one. That's about £2. Golden pomelo. 
Oh my god, there's three different types. There's honey pomelo. No, we get honey pomelo. Yeah. Oh my god, we need to buy this, Jess. Requesting for James of Universe or CV. It's quite expensive um, here as well, you know. This is about two, three pounds for this much. Really? Yeah. What could I have done it for you? What could I have we can't cut that ourselves. It's too much fruit. Oh my god, I've never seen any of this. What is this? Passion fruit? That's a different colour. Oh, it's a brown, what right? What is this? Durian. I can smell it from here. Can you not smell it? Yeah. Wait, is it durian? It is durian, yeah. You smell it, yeah. Yeah. This looks funny, isn't it? Because for jeans and please shine. Banana Oh, so cute. Wait, can I get some of this? And here's Rambutan. What's this? Oh, I can really smell the durian, Jess. It stinks. Oh my god, these oranges are so tiny. By the time you've peeled it, there'll be like one segment left. That's so cool. <laughs> and then check this out, guys. Oh my god. Look at the size of this apple. This is like my hand for comparison. It's a Korean apple. It's about three pounds. Take that to the oranges, like the size, size of the orange. One apple is big as all that. That's so funny. And I've seen these pears as well. Oh, dragon fruit. These pears are baffling me because they're round. I've never seen a round pear before. These are Korean as well. Maybe Korean fruit is just unusual shapes and sizes. I don't know. Quite expensive though. Just worked it out. This one pair is £6.30. Can't even get it out. Hold on. Oh my god, £6.30 for a pair. Are you kidding me? Wow. They chop up your fruit and veg for you. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so weird. They do strawberry flavoured cornflakes with strawberry puree and with banana puree. I see for one better as our plastic from the nose. Is that Tony the Tiger? Yeah, he's lucky. But he's cheating on Frosty. Yeah, he's cheating, there. Oh my god, it says, it says Tony as well. Oh my god, so oat milk does exist here. People just don't have it. Pistachio milk? That sounds very bougie. I don't know how much it is though. Ah, oh, they do Oatly. Just they do Oatly here as well. Actually, an almond grease, which I think is an American brand. That's not surprising. Oh, that sounds disgusting. I hate Hershey's so much. Soya milk, Hershey's cookies and cream. Wow. I just realised that this is why restaurants don't serve like Pepsi Max or Diet Pepsi because it's not really a thing here. And also with their Fanta, their Fanta's called Royal, but they don't do a diet like zero sugar version of it. Hmm. So good here though. I don't even like Fanta at home, but this is amazing. Probably because it's really sugary. Do you want one? Vanilla zero sugar coke. Get one if you want for tomorrow. Look how horrible this is, Jess. Salted egg fish skin. Oh, fish skin. And this? What is that? Is it literally just like skin of a fish? Oof. This is like crinkle cut, but it's called Lay's Wavy. <laughs> Barbecue flavour. We've got so many different crisps here. I feel like I've been to every country around the world with the Hershey's in the US. <gasps> Reese's peanut butter! Oh no, stop. And look, Australia here with the Tim Tams. I've never actually tried those before. Oh no, I don't want a big bag of chocolate. Like one little baby bar. I want something Filipino. Mm. Nips. Okay, what? I want something like this. Let's see if it's squished. We're in Dairy Queen. I've never been here before. True, is that true? They literally serve them upside down. It's so funny. <laughs> they serve them upside down. Thank you. <laughs> Just like that, we're back at the hotel. 
it's all lit up for Christmas now that it's dark. We're in that shopping centre for so long, it was huge. Look at the lobby, it's so cool. There's a little Santa. We're exploring the hotel now that we're back. We're on the eighth floor, apparently the pool is here. I don't think it's an indoor pool, I think it's outdoor. There's definitely a spa here. Can't see. Oh. Bit of a maze here, trying oh, to locate oh. the pool. Which part of this one? Ah, oh, it's the fitness centre. Oh, is that kickboxing? That's cool. Changing rooms. Outside, Jess. Oh, I'm going outside. Up the stairs. That's our room. <laughs> Recognise Jess's bag. So where is the pool? Ah, it's open till 10 p.m. You know. Oh, it's really small, but at least it's outdoor. This is so cool. Is that a hot tub? So cool. Tomorrow, we got it all very wrong because our flight is at well, like half half midnight. past midnight on the 25th, which means we need to leave on the 24th, which is today. For some reason, I thought we'd leave on the 25th. It's all very confusing, you know. Um, so stupidly, we've booked two nights at this hotel when we're not here for two nights. I never do stupid things like that. This is the first time ever. Well, I had to stop vlogging because a ton of people just got into the lift. Oh no, it's happening again, it's so humid that my camera's getting steamed up. Oh, that's how hot it is. See, it's the lens. It's really hot here. Oh. Guys, I found a Starbucks. We drove past it on the way to the hotel from the airport yesterday and I was like, right, this is where we're going tomorrow. Finally getting a good coffee. Um, a bit sick of hotel breakfast. And ours isn't included here, which is quite good actually. So, just want a coffee. That's all I want is a coffee. Breakfast is served. Oh, I miss Starbucks so much. Festive. Actually, here we are. Oh my god, it's so cute. They put like little oatmeal stickers on. <laughs> Let me guess. Caramel macchiato for you. Yeah. White mocha for me. I don't even drink this at home anymore because it's so sweet, but I needed a treat. Oh yeah. We are off to the pool. Look at how many floors there are. It's right, isn't it? No, it's left and then right. It smells so nice on this floor because of the spa. And they've got these diffusers hidden everywhere actually as well here. So nice. Ta-da! This is officially our last day being in the pool of yep. 2022. How do you feel? I don't want to go back. <laughs> yeah, but no more pool time, no Hello. more water. Oh, yeah, I feel really bad. I'm going to make the most of it now. Mm, sad times, this is the pool. Let me show you. This is the pool. It's actually quite nice. It's a rooftop pool. You can see all the buildings. That's why there's like loads of shade actually, because there's loads of high, high rise buildings around here. Is that a bar? That's quite cool. For a lovely little dip. Jas and I went into this pool first and the man was like, uh, that's not a hot tub, that's the kids pool. <laughs> we were like, where's the button? That one over there is the hot tub and the pool is freezing, they do not heat it and I feel like I'm gonna get hypothermia or something. It's actually a really clean pool and it's so nice to just sort of swim around and chill in the hot tub for a little bit. And now we're having some beers by the poolside. How's your beer, Jas? Burner time. Cheers! Cheers! Burner time. Mm. So 
nice and refreshing. You know it's only 11.30 in the morning. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I don't know how many of my clips have been recording because it keeps saying memory card error. My phone and my camera keep overheating um, and getting all steamed up with the humidity. But I was saying, I can't believe how stupid we are. Mm. <laughs> we literally thought we've got like another 24 hours to go and now we've got about six hours before we need to leave for the airport. We've spent all morning just lounging by the pool, having beers. It's been glorious. The pool's nice, it's very clean actually, but the water's freezing. And now we are um, heading back to that shopping mall that's just a short distance away. Just wants to do some shopping, don't you? Yeah, I want to do something. We, we have a 30 kg allowance. <laughs> package allowance. Um, I don't know why you want to make use of it. Use no, I want to make use of it, it's something. Yeah, I uh, we haven't done any shopping, but not that we have to do any shopping, but yeah, yeah we've got a nice shop, a big massive shopping centre where we are. Yeah, we're going to grab some lunch and then just come back and chill before our flight home. Sad times. I'm not, I'm not sad to leave Manila, I'm sad to be going home. Same way. Okay, nails are so cheap here and this place is so Instagrammable. Considering getting a manicure seeing as I sustained a water sports injury. Yeah, it's about £10 for a shellac pedicure and just under a tenner for a shellac mani. This place looks so nice. Thanks, Jess. Or Fess. <laughs> what is your name on here? I couldn't be, I couldn't be asked to Is it a J or an F? Fess. Fess all. <laughs> find ourselves back at Starbucks again for the second time today. We're clearly making up for lost time, having not really had a decent coffee more than twice on our entire trip. But um, we've still got just over four hours to kill before we leave for the airport to go home. And um, there's not really anything to do in Manila. Like, shopping here is really expensive, actually. We went into, they've got loads of branded stores like Calvin Klein, Tom's, Crocs. Um, very controversial, I know. Uh, Birkenstock, the body shop, they've got like basically everything, but stuff is like more than double the price of what you pay in the UK. So, for example, Tom's, the shoe brand, Jas has a pair of shoes from there and he rebuys them every summer because they get destroyed. They're about 25, 30 quid, 30 quid full price. Yeah. Here they worked out to 70, which is more than double, which is insane. Um, yeah, I'm not sure Weird. why. Maybe it's all imported from other countries, but we did notice that all the shops are dead. There's literally not a single person shopping in any of them. I wonder how they can afford it. I'm a bit tired of just sitting around. I might, um, when we get back to the hotel, I might just um, go on my laptop and do something, like do some, make a start on editing some videos or writing a blog post. I was doing that last night in the hotel bar. It was really nice actually, I had a glass of rosé. Knocked out a blog post about El Nido, it was great. So I might just do a bit more of that. Right, I'm in a 7 Eleven and I'm gonna try sweet corn flavoured soy milk, which just sounds really weird. Like, I need to try it, right? And it's 25 pesos, which is about, I don't even know, like 50p or something stupid. I'm bringing you some riveting content, guys. Sweet corn flavoured soy milk, it's so weird. Let's try it. Sweet corn flavoured soy milk. I love sweet corn so much. Jas takes the piss out of me because I just eat it straight from a tin at home. So I just had to try this. I don't know what that kind of... Oh, that's good. Was it? What was the jump back for? It, just I like... Mean, it's very like artificially... No, it's not though. It's just very highly concentrated. So the ingredients are soy milk. Corn milk, they milk to sweet corn. Wow. What? That's weird. Sugar, fibre, soybean oil. Okay, I don't want to read any more oil, that's disgusting. Does it actually taste nice? Good, actually. Yeah, well. I'm surprised how many flavours this has, because it's a 7 Eleven went to. I know. We saw, um, was San Miguel, right? Flavoured. I already filmed that. Yeah, apple and what's the other one again you just saw earlier? Lychee. Yeah, okay. So good. I should have bought some to take home. We finished packing. We've just been sitting around for the past four hours doing absolutely nothing. We forgot about this pomelo that we bought from the supermarket yesterday. So we're gonna enjoy that now. Hopefully it's nice. Um, then head down to reception, check out, get a taxi, go to the airport and go home. 
it's going to be um, 24 hours of travel because it's about midday currently in the UK and we land at midday tomorrow. So it's going to be a very long flight home. I think it's eight and a half hours to Abu Dhabi and then a two and a half hour stopover and then seven hours home from there. So it's going to be pretty tiring, but I don't think the airport's going to be very interesting to vlog. So I thought I would just leave it here. I've had two just over two weeks of daily vlogging and daily instagram storying so if you've missed anything you can check out my highlights on my instagram profile it's linked down below in the description box but thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye